Okay, okay, so today is Saturday, November 11th. What Pack Street is doing today is taking some pictures, making some reels, coming up with ideas for new shows. I was up all night working on it, um, stuff. <laughs> He was doing the website all night. Uh, so we're, we're getting that website launched this weekend. Gonna be a productive weekend. We just gotta figure out a way to do this and sales. That's the hard part. We've been working, the content's coming first. The content's coming first. So we're here. Oh, Bray, you do look like a kid. You do. We're trying to pull off school pictures, photo shoot. Trying to kind of look like a, a school kid. My mom put me in the sweater that I didn't want to wear to school. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Poppy, let me get a big smile. Do a picture of people at school say Poppy? No. <laughs> let me see. That would be nice. Where's the other one? Yeah. <laughs> That's a fucking mugshot. <laughs> like a piece of broccoli upside down. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I wasn't holding record the whole time. <laughs> what? <laughs> So we got the photo shoot down. We got the website going live. Josh showed up. We are about to do an anime draft for TikTok and Instagram. Want to minimize the amount of work you got to do throughout the week. Because if you got a job and you're also trying to grind, it's like impossible. Do all the work on your day off. Make it last the whole week. So uh, back to it. Okay, my bad. I feel like I've been moving nonstop. I just started a new job this week, so that's a little crazy. You know how that is. Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna get footage every day this week. Fuck that. Psh. No, I didn't. I didn't do that at all. Look at my, I can't do this. I can't do this without a hat on. Okay, so um, I have a collection to pick up. I have a sale to get ready for and whatnot. So that's the plan. Trying to promote this sale because Whatnot has been sketchy lately. The link is right below if you want to follow us on Whatnot to help support the crew. Yeah, we got a nice Funko Pop collection I'm gonna pick up. I'm gonna show you guys that, happy about it. Set up the sale, push some promotion. Seatbelt sound. Back home, and as you can see, we got the collection. Ah, this was a, this is a crazy amount of fucking Funko Pops. That's not it that you see back there. That's not it that you see right here. Got a box in the trunk full of them. Uh, let's go through it. I'll show you the best ones that we got and they're gonna go up for sale this weekend. All right, so I got everything inside, about to organize, list it on whatnot. And then after everything's organized, me and you will reconvene and we'll talk prices and we'll talk, oh, this shit's cool, that shit's cool. This ain't it. All right, so um, yeah. Okay, so I got them at least organized now. I still got to add them into the app, uh, price them out. All of this stuff that I'm doing right now, this is stuff that you got to take into consideration when you're buying a collection from someone. They're like, ah, I want to get this much money. No, bitch, I gotta, I'm gonna spend a lot of time selling this stuff and damn pricing them out, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, let me show you how I have them organized. So we have right here, anime, which is a lot of my hero. Uh, that's video games, three of them. Marvel and DC. Uh, then we have like movies and cartoons here. And this is horror. And then that's fucking Britney Spears. The reason why I organize my stuff like this is because I like to do a breakdown to see, can I do a sale with just anime? Can I do a sale with just Marvel and DC? On whatnot, link is below. If, when you have a specific sale, you're more likely to get people, viewers to come in and stay because it's something that they're interested in. When you're doing a mixed sale, like, um, you know, anime, Marvel, fucking da, da, da. When you're doing that, you're gonna get a lot of people in and out because sometimes 
you know, a Marvel fan doesn't give a shit if a My Hero Pop is running, so they'll be out and go look for some more Marvel Pops. I don't know if you care, so, but I'm explaining it anyway. Now, get these bad boys priced out and added to the sale, which is the most time-consuming thing that fucking sucks, dog. Oh, if you're watching this, you're watching this on Friday or Saturday, depending on if I was able to get this uploaded in time. We're giving away this. Bro, join the fucking live, my friend. The boy had to go get some groceries. You already know what it is. Just me and my dog's a hot fucking heaping plate of turkey. The boy is a man now. Oh, yeah. So in no particular order, let's go over some of the Funko Pops that I really like from this collection. Uh, we'll start off with the chase of uh, the mayor from Nightmare Before Christmas. I thought that one was really cool. This All Might Weekend, the Glow in the Dark box lunch exclusive. That one is sick. Garu from One Punch Man. Here's one of the really good ones from the collection. Probably the best one. Okay, then we got uh, Red Hulk. That's a cool one. This is a chase, right? Glow in the dark chase. Oh, another another really cool one. Uh, Venomized Doctor Doom. Let me remind you guys. Here's another one. Twice the chase. Oh, this one's really cool. Demonic Pennywise Funhouse. And as you can see, guys, I showed you this collection had I think 100, 147, 137 fucking Funko Pops in it. So I can't go through each one piece for piece. I spent uh, 1250 My estimate, if I'm being negative, if I'm being, you know, what's the word like? You know what I'm trying to say? Like, if I'm being, I think we're gonna make $2,000 altogether, you know, after fees and everything come out. So I should be net positive about you know the math, $750. We usually try to do a little bit better of a profit margin, but I'm trying to get people into these whatnot sales. As you see, I keep mentioning it. Join the whatnot sales, support the growth of our channel, and hopefully you guys win one of these. It's cold outside, but um, I'm gonna leave you guys at this. Hopefully this isn't too windy. Uh, this is how I will end this video off. Uh, Cause I got some, go I gotta go do like, you know, real life shit, errands. Eh. Speaking of errands, we'll be giving away an Aaron Yeager Funko, okay. That was stupid. Okay, basically it's just this. Um, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of ups and downs. If you're trying to do this, I'm assuming if you're watching this, you wanna create this type of business as well. There's gonna be like a lot of fucking difficult moments, tough to get through. You have to just keep working through them. That's why it's important you pick a business that you actually enjoy working in which I, I love doing all this stuff I love collectibles I like talking about the shit you see us talk about so it being like a long road doesn't matter to me because you know we enjoy it stopping for wind stopping for wind yeah you should enjoy anything you do that much as well it's very important because it's tough um, I don't want to only share the good shit that happens for example we just posted a video saying our website launched First 10 people are gonna get free things, bam. And then we sit down like, now let the orders come rolling in. Zero orders. It's part of it. Can't let it discourage you. Honestly, I'm out here working every day, working towards this, trying to build the business, trying to build our following. I look forward to continuing. We have grown, so that's a good sign. I was hoping these videos could be a little bit more action packed, you know, a lot more shopping around, negotiating deals, which will come, it just hasn't happened yet but I still want to put these up. So um, see you next time.